Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Dragon Figure Stan Wiley. He is a U.S. military police, part of the 101st Airborne Division. And this one is also a Dragon USA exclusive figure. So let's go ahead and look at the box. There's a picture of Stan Wiley. And if you recall, this one is very similar to Matt Clapton, which was another um, U.S. military police figure that I reviewed maybe three years ago now. It's been a little while, but uh, they're both very similar to each other, just some minor differences. Um, some of the differences are that this one's a corporal. Matt Clapton, I, I believe, was a private first class, and then this one's part of the 101st Airborne Division. So those are the biggest differences between them. Um, but other than that, they're both very similar. Uh, but here's another picture of Stan on the side. And here's a look at the back. And this one came out in 2007. And as you can see, this one is a, a much slimmer box, and that's only because they have one side with equipment here. This side is left blank, so it's a very thin box. So you don't get as much with this figure. But he's really nice. Um, I really love MP figures. And this one has been on my radar for a good while. He is um, definitely on the rarer side. Um, probably because he's a USA exclusive figure. So it doesn't show up a whole lot. But I did actually get him for a really good price. I only paid around like 40 bucks for him. So I was very happy about that. But yeah, this is a really nice figure. He poses really nicely. All right, well, for starters, I guess we'll take a look at, uh, this is called a truncheon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I thought it was a baton, but apparently it has a different name. So here's a look at this. And then the figure just comes with a pistol. So no other weapons other than that. Okay, and here he is holding it. So, because of the gloved hands, he can't really hold it all too well, but it's okay. He's not really meant to be holding this. The This is his main, uh, I don't know if you'd call that a weapon, but the main thing he's supposed to be posed with. All right, let's take a look at his helmet. And that fits very nicely on the head sculpt. All right, so really awesome helmet. I love the white. And of course, the MP on the front looks great. And here is the head sculpt, which is also very nice hair got a little chipped in the front um, but good detailing on this one it's got a very pleasant expression all right and the uniform is really beautiful I love the GI uh, uniform so he's got the GI coat and a lot of insignias here on this side we've got uh, the corporal uh, ranking insignia there Okay, there's another one, Allied Airborne, 101st Insignia, and then his MP arm sleeve. So overall, uh, that looks really good once you get all that on there. And then, as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, he's got these white gloved hands, which are very nice. Just have to be careful, the gloved hands do tend to break pretty easily, so uh, you gotta be gentle with those. 
All right, he's got a white belt. Okay, white pouch here with an extra uh, magazine for his pistol. And in the back, got a white holster for his pistol. And you can see his whistle. Uh, I was having a little bit of a hard time getting that to stick, but it is supposed to to rest like this under his pocket. So it's a little tricky getting that to stay, but uh, you get the idea. And then you see the white uh, cords wrapped around here. It's a little tricky. I'm not sure if I did this right in the back, but I was trying to get it to uh, look to, um, you know, I was trying to make it look good in the front, so. All right, moving on. Lastly, we've got his trousers and then his boots, which are really nice. All right, guys, well, um, actually, no. We've got one more thing I forgot to show here. We've got underneath a tie. And then you can see his uh, GI MP shirt underneath there, so. All right, well, other than that, I think that's everything to show for the figure. Pretty simple figure, as you would expect with an MP figure, but um, uh, he is really nice. And if I had to choose between the two, between Stan Wiley or Matt Clapton, it is really tough, but I think I like Stan Wiley a little better. Um, I really love the fact that he's part of the 101st, and um, yeah, I just really like his uniform a lot. The boots um, are different. Matt Clapton comes with the leggings and he doesn't. So um, I think I like this look better personally, um, but both are awesome figures. I do recommend checking this one out. If you can find him, um, he's definitely worth picking up. So, all right guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next review.